I'm Patrick Lasasso, and welcome to another dynamic movement drill for seniors and for people living with Parkinson's disease. Now, recently I posted a reciprocal movement drill online. It got a lot of great response, so I decided to kind of play around with it and develop it so it had some hand-eye coordination and some hand-to-hand -hand coordination implemented. If you haven't seen the video, I'll try to put the link on the bottom text box here at the bottom of the video. You might want to pause this here and go back and look at it, but basically involve, it involves stepping forward and reaching out and fanning the hands on one side and then the same thing on the other side. And then instead of stepping forward, you would step back and throw your hand up in the air, step back, up in the air, and then lateral step to the side and throw your hand off to the side. But instead of stepping forward and fanning your hand or backward and fanning your hand, we are going to use a ball. I have here a large wiffle ball and I chose this so it would be easy for you to see on the screen. Now you could probably use a tennis ball, heck you could even use a golf ball, any type of golf, except not a basketball. It's gonna be way too big. So anyway, I'm gonna pause this here, change the camera around and show you the drill. Hope you like it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna do the same reciprocal movement pattern that we did in the previous video, but instead of fanning the hands, we're gonna be performing a throwing movement with the ball and then handing it to the other hand and throwing the ball. So I'm using my right hand, I'm stepping forward with my left leg, tossing it out, handing it over and to the other side. So instead of the fanning of the hands, we're performing a throwing movement. So, the first pattern was a step forward and throw with one, the opposite arm. The second pattern is going to be a step backwards. So we're going to step back, but make the movement as if you were tossing the ball straight up in the air. Pass it to the other hand, straight up in the air, to the other hand, straight up in the air. And reach up like you're tossing the ball straight up in the air as you're stepping back. This is the second pattern. Let's do two more steps here. Here's one. Here's two. Now the third step was a lateral step to the side, so hand the ball off and throw it the other way. Hand the ball off, throw it and reach. So we have the reciprocal movement pattern that we did in the first video, but we have this manual hand-to-hand -hand moment here where we're passing the ball off. That's great for dexterity, as well as we're doing multitasking as well because we're handing this ball off with this fine motor skill while we got all these legs and arms moving in different directions. So let's try and put them in sequence now. So we're gonna step forward and do a throwing motion with the ball, hand it off, other side, hand it off. Now step back and toss it straight up in the air, other side, and then hand it off and do the lateral step. And if you stick around very shortly, I'm gonna show you the ultimate progression of this one with the hand-eye coordination. Step back, step back, handing it off. Chuck it out. Let's do it one more time around so you get it. And throw the ball, step forward with the opposite leg. Throw, opposite leg. Throw it upwards and step back. Upwards and step back. And lateral step. Shuffle pass to the side. Shuffle pass to the side. Okay, so we're gonna use that same fundamental movement, but we're gonna add something to it. Instead of manually passing it from one hand to the other and then doing the throwing motion. We're gonna do what I like to call a juggle toss or a lob toss. So we're gonna get it to the other hand by tossing it up in a small arc. So it's gonna look like this. I'll drill the first movement and then we'll do them all in sequence. So forward, you're gonna to toss up in the air, take it in the other hand, forward. And this is the first progression. I'm just gonna do this a couple times so you get the principle and then I'm gonna put them in series. So instead of just manually handing it to another hand like this, we're gonna perform a hand-eye coordination task by tossing it up in the air and catching it in the other hand. And we're gonna do this for all of the steps. Okay, one more step here. And now let's put them in sequence. So, at the ready, step forward, throwing motion, juggle toss. Throwing motion, juggle toss. Upwards. Juggle toss, upwards. Juggle toss to the side. Juggle toss to the side. Juggle toss one more time. Throwing it, toss. Throwing it, toss. Backwards, toss. Backwards, toss it over and to the side. And to the side, and done. You can see that's a tough one because 
In addition to the coordination of the movement, we got that fine motor skill of tossing and catching and trying to repeat the pattern in the proper order is tough on the noggin too. So that's my latest movement drill. I hope you enjoyed it. Now don't get frustrated if you can't get the lob toss. That is tough. Um, so modify it if you can't do that and just do the hand to hand. There are always things you can be doing to make things better. Never lose hope, keep moving. You can make a difference. And I'll be back to help you do that real soon with another video. Thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. See you soon, I'm Patrick Lasasso. bye.